Yo, what is up guys, SO3 here, and today we're going to be going through all of my settings, my controller settings, my graphics settings, my keyboard and mouse settings, I'm going to let you guys know my res, everything, everything that got, helped me get over 290,000 range points, I'm going to be showing you guys today. First thing we're going to look at and get into is the controller, you guys normally see me with an Xbox controller in my hands, which is what I've used for probably 15 years of my gaming life, but recently I just picked up a Cinch Gaming PS4 controller, and it feels amazing. I'm talking from the back back buttons, not paddles. Mouse click back buttons. Insane. You can hear the little taps to the mouse click triggers and bumpers. That The controller feels like it has almost negative delay. It's probably the best controller I've ever used. And then just look at the customization. Look at it. Nice little wood grain texture. We got clear buttons over here. Brown ones here. Oh my. It just looks absolutely beautiful. If you guys do want to pick up a Cinch Gaming controller, you guys can use the link in the description below. And use my code SR3 to save yourself some money and help support me. I'd appreciate that a lot. As well as attached to the controller, we do have my scroll wheel. I keep this thing on me. It's literally, ever since I got one, it's the best thing I've ever got in my entire life. If you guys would like to pick one of these up as well, there will be a link in the description to that. And you can use code SR3 to save yourself some money and support me as well. I'd appreciate that. But... Let me go and show you guys the settings that I use for my PlayStation controller. They're absolutely insane. Some of the best Expo settings. We don't rock a linear. Some of the best Expo settings you're going to see. And they've gotten me over 290,000 arena points. It's absolutely insane. I hope you guys really enjoy the settings. All right. Hopping right over into the settings. We're just going to go here. Bop, bop. Bam. We're here. All right. Edit hold time is 0 0.250. Some of you guys look at this. Like, Why is it maxed? Why is his hold time maxed? There used to be a theory that if you had this max, you had less edit delay, which I don't know if it's true or not, but I've always kept it max to just keep it max. It doesn't hurt me. Uh, 0 0.085 slide hold time, something slight. It, I don't slide too much, but I slide as much as I need to. These don't matter because we're on advanced options. If you're not on advanced options, you need to you get on them. All right, 1.9 build multiplier, 2.1 edit multiplier. Now, the build multiplier might look low, but remember, we're on expo. We're not linear. Right, this is exactly where it needs to be. Trust me. Go through my settings with me. Trust me. Use these. You'll feel like a like a demon. Okay. Look horizontal and vertical speed. We have 45 and 57. Now it's 10 higher for vertical because I can flick up and hit headshots way easier like this, especially on Expo. Whenever I see people playing linear, you normally have around the same sensitivity for both. On Expo, though, nah. You want to have a little bit higher vertical. And if you use it like this. You're only going to hit headshots with your pumps. Max damages. Max damage. Like, it's crazy. And then for my ADS, I've had the same ADS speed forever. Look horizontal and vertical. I've always been 6'6 with a 3'3 boost on both of these. I've used this for probably a year now. This ADS sense I fry with. From using the MK, the Red Eye, SMGs, AUGs, everything. You literally fry. Of course, we're on Expo because what the heck is this? We don't even use smaller stick. No one cares about that. All right. Expos where it's at. Get on it. Get with the program, okay? Get. We have a 10 10 Z 10 10 dead zone. I don't know how to speak yet, so you guys editor cut that out. <clears throat> 10 10 dead zone, and I use this on every controller. I never seem to have stick drift ever. I have this on. Don't know why. It's just on. I never turned it off. And then yeah, that's all the controller settings. Now we should hop right on over to little controls here. My binds even. We might get into my paddle binds. No, might. We're getting into them. All right, but I edit with left stick. It's pretty common. So I feel like it's the best edit button. And switch modes, circle on this, which is technically my back paddle. It's my top right paddle is uh, my switch mode. My pickaxe is here, which is my bottom uh, left paddle. Or, or button in this scenario. But this, like, this button right here, you guys can't... I don't know how well you guys can see it. And then I have my jump, which is my top right button or paddle and then my sprint which is right on the d-pad i just bind it to my bottom right paddle so i'm using four paddles all binded to the different things all work amazing for me pickaxe is okay i mean sprinting is amazing on the paddle switch mode and jump i feel like are pretty standard on paddles but other than that i mean i confirm with r1 or rb depends if you're xbox or not i am still new to playstation i might go back to my xbox controller you know we're kind of seeing we're trial and error over here but so far, I'm loving the PS4 controller. It has way less delay. Way less. It feels great. And other than that, I mean, let's get let's jump into my graphics settings. You guys can see why my game always looks so beautiful. Look how colorful my game is. It looks amazing. You guys just want your game to look like this? 
Get ready for these settings. All right, getting into the freaking color settings here. All right, so we have brightness on 100%. One maximum, not maximum, 100%. Normal standard brightness. Colorblind Tritonope 3 is amazing. It makes the game so bright and beautiful. Like, especially if you're in a game, I'm sure you, if you guys watch my other videos or if you've been on my Twitch streams, the game, my game just always looks so colorful and beautiful. Now, this frame right up here, you guys might be wondering, he doesn't play on 60 FPS. That doesn't make sense. I went into the game files and changed my FPS to 280 because it just fits my monitor better. But so that's why it's like that. It's just stuck at 60. Don't, there's no way to fix it or anything. It's just there. I play on 280 though. 3D resolution at 100. I feel like that's pretty standard. All my graphic settings are low. I play on low message performance mode which is the absolute best one to play on. There's no reason to go anywhere else. And then for my HUD settings, just because that is part of it, this is my damage numbers. This is my reticles on, on. My damage numbers are cumulative because I don't like to do math. We don't like math out here. I just want to play the game, okay? Damage number scales max. I want, I want to see those numbers. When I hit that 200, I want to be able to see that. You know what I'm saying? HUD scales at 80%. I want to see my arena points. It needs to be somewhat big, but not too big. Might be a little bit too much. But other than that... I mean, let's just go through all my default settings here. Mantle activation, I just hold. Auto open doors is on. I feel like that's everyone. Preferred item slots, I keep my shotgun in my first slot. SMG in second. Assault rifle in my very last. Just so I can switch through all of them through my shotgun easily. One tap of a bumper, you know what I'm saying? Then you have my pre-edits are off. Or on, technically. But like the options off. Uh, there's a, there used to be a thing where you could grab your edit from farther away if you have pre-edits on. So I kept it like that. I do not use edit on release. I do confirm everything with R1 or RB, whichever one you want to call it. And then, yeah, uh, that's, that's mainly it for the settings here. I'm not going to lie. If you guys want to check out my mouse and keyboard settings, I mean, go right ahead. You guys saw the keyboard and mouse video recently. I'm a freaking demon. All right. We'll just throw these in here just to throw them in here. Nothing crazy. It's my sense. Cool. You know what let's go let's go to my binds just go through them real quick my build binds are a bit weird check them out check them out check them out we're okay so we're q wall okay q wall floor is f stairs are e roof is left shift and i edit with v bro like come on who's got weirder binds than me but i'm a freaking demon all right that's all that matters and then of course we use scroll reset nothing too crazy going on here but I, that, that's all my settings, guys. I'm not going to lie. Oh, or is it? Or is it all my settings? What's the res I play on, guys? You guys want to know the res I'm on? I can tell you. I can tell you for a small fee of uh, a like, comment, and a subscribe. That's what I could do. I feel like that's a fair trade. So the two reses I use. <clears throat> I go through two. <clears throat> Either native, which is 1920 by 1080. Or the stretch res I always use every time. If I do play stretch, I'm on 1688 by 1080. That is what I use if I'm playing stretch. Those are the two I bounce between all the time. I get bored and I'm like, okay, I want to go play stretch. So I go play 1688 by 1080. And then I get bored of that. I'm like, all right, I miss native. And I go right back to native. I don't know what it is. I don't know what in my mind makes me want to do that. But uh, those are the two I switch between all the time. And they're just the best. They're, they really are. They're so good. The 1688 is not too stretched, but it's stretched enough, and the native's just native. I mean, it's just plain, boring, nothing going on. I might switch soon, who knows. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Those are all my settings from keyboard, controller, my paddles, uh, my graphic settings, my color blonde, you know, everything. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. I appreciate it if you guys could leave a comment about some videos you might want to see in the future. And leave, leave, leave a little sub, alright? I did give you the res, alright? I deserve that like, comment, and sub. I'm just saying, I do love you guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.